Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing silk screen printing. So I actually created, let me just pull this off my wall. I create two sheet of, I create two comic stories. What the? I create two comic stories. I'm just going to update my portfolio for SVA and also Micah. So that's two main schools I was like paying the most attention to because I'm just I applied for illustration design. SAIC is kind of famous for its fine art program. I don't know whether I should take that or not. Uh, today's video will just be a do my portfolio with me session. You can kind of see through how I create certain parts in my portfolio and um, I think I finished the general thing of my college application especially to like every school I applied for its art college and um, I know I haven't been like making a legit portfolio video going through everything and um, it's just I still have some like result I haven't heard from certain school I say certain schools I just simply mean scat I mean what are you doing bro uh, why you take so long I've applied it like back in December and they haven't given me anything I don't know if, if, if it's a rejection just tell me man so after after I heard anything from SCAT, I will be immediately making this video and upload it. That's a lot of like requirements, DMs. How did I make my portfolio and how was it? What's the result? I'm just gonna say that generally it's super pleasing. And um, today we're just gonna make silk screen printing and I'm just gonna like chat a little bit. Like this is my first time doing this relatively longer video sessions about my art making process. I kind of just don't know what to say with my voiceover. I just, you know, while I was doing my stickers, I was just recording myself, talking to myself and talking to you guys. So well, it doesn't have like a really major script. This is just like an experiment of my new video forms. I don't know. I will see. For today's video, I'm gonna make two comics out of two interesting stories. At least for my taste, I love them a lot. The first story is about the shower killer. The idea is pretty random and extremely not thought-provoking. Sometimes I really enjoy make shallow art. For this one, there was a guy in the shower, like sinking his head into the water, trying to have some deep ass underwater, drowning, bathing, think of the day. Pretentiously, his eye got burned and he had no idea what the hell just happened. He stood up, puked everything out, stepped out of the tub onto his vomit, and walked out of the bathroom, simply because he got choked on his stinky ass feet. I'm right now transferring this onto the film sheet. I'm always a big fan of time lapse and the top shooting always gives a clean vibe of what am I doing, but sometimes not quiet. For this piece, it took me a really really long while in reality. I used to enjoy this process so, so much, I can put up a show and get into every stroke. It's like I'm a patient type of person when it comes to art. However, I was in a hurry because I need to update my portfolio before tonight, which is insane for me to take this risk. Still doing like silk screen printing. <laughs> Glad I got 12 hours faster than the New York time. Everything turned out fine, so don't worry. The inspirations are from my sketchbook. Every day I try to create shit in my sketchbook. I have like a sketchbook tour video or something like that coming up. So if you are interested in that but haven't subscribed to this channel, do what you're gonna do. And the chatting I was mentioning about will just begin. So I don't know, I was just doing other stuff and just mumbling about like things I don't even remember. So yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe it's more like a keep you companion while you're doing something. You can just play my video and uh, yeah, doing some English kind of thing. Hello everyone, welcome to my see my studio vlog, see my podcast kind of thing. Yeah, I just want to kind of practice my speaking while I'm doing something else that doesn't require like deep thinking and things like that. So here I am. So I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of slow, chill, relaxing kind of thing. That's like not what I usually be doing. So there's no prompt either. I'll just be like speaking random ideas. <laughs> And also, I feel like I haven't introduced myself enough on this channel based on what I do, based on what I did. Since this video is a portfolio video, well, it's not a portfolio video. 
it's just more like a do portfolio with me session. So yeah, maybe we can talk about like my portfolios, my college applications. Due to a lot of your requirements, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this. So I did take a gap year. I was doing my high school at an international, it's more like a Canadian high school in China. So and since a lot of you guys asked, I'm Chinese, I'm pure Chinese. So don't get me wrong. Let's just get started. I did take a gap year because I just focused on like other things way more than I focused on my portfolio during high school. Like I have a clear view or clear like goal of what I'm gonna do with my future. I love painting and drawing things really young age maybe three like six years old or three years old i don't remember so but i do remember i start to like draw and paint really well when i was a kid and i'm just into this things like after i after i was accepted to that high school program i just put my mind down onto this illustration design thing but i don't know i just didn't put enough effort into this because i was so focused on my badminton having fun doing src like living through high school make each day count yeah i don't i don't regret doing any of those it's a gap year but i don't feel like this is a gap year it's supposed to be like chill figure out what am i gonna do with the future but with the clean view of my future and being a workaholic i can't stop doing things if you followed my social media account other than this channel maybe instagram maybe like xiaohongshu or something i never stopped doing things during this gap year two artist alley things I do graffiti with my friend, I do like promotional videos. So right now I'm recording this voiceover while I'm making new stickers. So I'm preparing for my upcoming event in the March. Also speaking of stickers, I did like have this online shop for a really long while. Over this year, for real this is a lot. Yeah, so portfolio, work, college application, artist alley, graffiti, making this channel, making like every channel. It's a lot of work because I'm just by myself. So yeah. Yeah, but I'm just really into like make things like this. I'm not settled with illustration design with my future. I'm more like a just as I discovered, I like making content more than I love drawing and painting. Maybe I can like do some web designer work for those big companies in the future and just do painting and drawing for fun, you know? Because I really like making this shit, but I don't you know, over this year I start to think like maybe I shouldn't like make it into my job or something i don't want to like do lame work for money i don't like that i want to like build up myself as a whole thing so you know it doesn't help if the client doesn't have an eye for like appreciation <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I, I stopped to like get out and do a lot of designing work unless they are coming for me based on my like channels, based on acquaintance or something like that. If they love my creation, they love my style and my eye for something, willing to work with them. I can vlog my four year to six years college life, you know. I can have another way in my future, which is super good. I don't know what are you seeing in my channel right now but in reality while i'm recording this voiceover i'm right now designing this sticker as i mentioned before but this one is some next level shit belly button placenta that's some hint i mean this is so weird this is a masterpiece bro like i'm gonna start to do like longer videos i will like sacrifice some subtitle work i'm just gonna give this work to computer let it figure out by itself which you know sometimes it can be wrong so i would just make sure that every english subtitle is accurate if you really do need to know what am i saying feel free to like check it up i'm not just gonna do like accurate chinese subtitles again because i don't really have that time so if you like what am i doing here if you love the content of this channel make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe yeah go visit my online shop i already put the link down below so yeah bye